Up until six years ago, only Oblate priests served the Catholic Church in Port Isabel. And to thank them for decades of service, the parishioners have set up a special recognition to them. Here's Rick Diaz with today's Comijante. It's a prayer garden with a giant mural on one side. It depicts the seven young oblate priests who rode through the wilderness from Brownsville to Roma, bringing the Catholic religion to the ranches and settlements. And one of the churches they established was Our Lady Star of the Sea in Port Isabel. When I arrived here in 2012, I was the first Austin priest to come to this parish. Up in, from 1849 to 2012, it had been oblate priests. And on this dedication ceremony, Father Pat remembers what his parishioners told him when he held his listening sessions. And the oblates kept coming up. We, we miss them, we love them, we, we, we appreciate all that they did for us. We'd like you to build some type of memorial for them. So. We are called to serve one another. So the idea for the memorial prayer garden was born. Special invited guests were three of the remaining oblate priests in the valley. Oh, it's a sweet honor. You know, uh, oblates are real sentimental anyway, and this is in memory of all the oblates who served here. The first oblates landed here in 1849. And you'll see that monument over there. Monument, it's got the names of all the oblates who ever served here in Port Isabel. My mom just died, and uh, I got my vocation. My mother met the oblates. It means a lot. Also that, you know, a priest who isn't an oblate would decide to do this for us. That, that's very special also. But I was baptized by an oblate, grew up with oblate priests. Uh, in fact, the oblate priest who baptized me, his name's over on that marker. The garden itself is located in a special area right behind the church. And because they had to ride horseback to hold yeah, mass, yeah, perform yeah. weddings, and deliver the word, they the became town. known as the Cavalry of Christ. It's beautiful. Oh, beautiful. 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 <laughs> Father Pat made the wish come true for him. So it's very, very nice. Great. Real compliment to the church. Oh, it's beautiful. beautiful. It's a great uh, dedication to these oblates that came in from so long ago. They faced all kind of daunting obstacles and uh, they established the church in the valley. Honoring the oblate priest at Our Lady Star of the Sea Church in Port Isabel. For Channel 5 News, I'm Rick Diaz. Call me help.